Hello, good morning. <coughs> well, we can sp start with our typical disclaimer. That's it. Who we are. <coughs> it's important to underline who we are. It's the Antares team and Southern Legacy team. Regulus is a company that today is the, <coughs> is the result of an amalgamation between Antares with, from where John, Mark, and Kevin come, and Fernando Pickman from Regulus, from Southern Legacy. Who we are? We have 90 million shares issued. Fully diluted, we are 97 million. And <coughs> uh, you will see that who are the principal shareholders? 14% insiders, 23% road one, <coughs> and we have some <coughs> significant shareholders. Um, as you will see, we have a track record. Our track record started, starts with our team who built Antares, and they bought it for 15 million and sold it for 655 years later. Then, uh, when they sold Antares, uh, they made a spin out and Regulus was incorporated and Regulus acquired from an amalgamation with, so with Southern Legacy, the company from <coughs> where I come, we, ha they ac we acquired the Antacori Copper Gold Project in Peru. What's Antacori? Antacori was one of the most interesting projects in Peru. It used to be named Sinchao. It was owned by several junior companies without capacities to move it forward. Antacori has been, the Sinchao area, has been a, a project that has been uh, of interest of big companies as Buenaventura, Southern Copper, um, uh, uh, Goldfields, but they didn't have the capacity to run over it. Why? Because Antacori had several problems, social, legal, land position, and technical issues. Where are we located? We are located in Cajamarca. Cajamarca might be the central of the most of the, of the of the biggest copper and gold projects of Peru. You will see there are some <coughs> interesting and very well known projects like Yanacocha, El Galeno, La Granja, and Tantahuatai. Please keep an eye over Tantahuatai because it will be very important for you to understand why our project is so interesting. We are, as you will see, through a, na through a national highway, we are at two hours and 23 minutes from the city of Cajamarca. You will see on the way to our project, we will pass through Yanacocha Mine. This is our neighborhood. As you will see, there are some mines in the area. By one side, at 7K from our project, you will have Cerro Corona Gold Mine. And if you see where our land position is, you will see what, that we're adjacent to an ongoing mine. It's Tantawatai Gold Oxides Mine. You will see that the pit, their pit is con constrained by our, by our properties. And that has been key to the next step I'll show you. Here we are. One of our challenges was with our small land position that were the dark red uh, pieces of land it was very difficult to develop a real project. So as, how, as one of our challenges was to consolidate land position. So we get into two important agreements with our partner, with our, our neighbors. Who our neighbors are? Coimolache, it's a JV between Buenaventura, Southern Copper, and Colquirumi, who is an area wholly owned by Buenaventura, one of the biggest gold producers of Peru. Which are the characteristics of these two agreements? By one side, the Coimolech agreement can be defined as a collaborative agreement. It's a JV with no participations, where both parties are free from one from the other. And we, as we, we concede one to the other mutual rights of access, mutual rights of expansion, and full data sharing. What does it mean? As you will see, uh, Tantawatai pit is constrained with our land position, with our concessions. So they have now the right to lay back their pit over our concessions 
in order to, to exploit and obtain the, the oxides, because they are in an oxides mine. And we are, we've been paid with a 5% royalty over those areas, over, over the mineral obtained from our concessions. By the other side, now we have the ability with this, uh, with this uh, new structure of agreement, we have the possibility to increase our, our, um, the information to calculate our resource according to the 43-101 rules. We are a, Canadian, a, list, a list of Canadian companies so we need to follow the rules. So to calculate our resource, we need to have the possibility to obtain the resource from land. So we, with our previous land position, we weren't able to do it. So that's why with the green and the dark blue and, and the dark red area, we, we created a mutual area of interest where they have the right to expand their pit and we have the possibility to use their land to, to create, to declare our new resource. Then the Kolkirumi agreement, it's a typical earning by which you have the possibility to gain all the clear blue, clear red area. Regulus can earn up to a 70% interest by drilling 7,500 meters within three years of dating of obtaining necessary permits. And then Buenaventura will have the opportunity once to have a clawback and gain the 70% making a 9 million payment. These two agreements allow us to have a big project in the area. This is a little bit more detailed how our exploration has been done. Traditional exploration done by previous companies was done in direction to south, trying to obtain the same results as Tantawatain mine had. But our team tried to, uh, uh, has a different understanding of the project, and we are looking to the north side. You will see our drill holes are projected in, into north, which is the big challenge. This is the geology. I'm not ge a geologist, I'm a lawyer, by the way, but I'm used to hear my team explaining this story. If you see at, at top, you will, you will see the mineral up there, it's sulfides, and usually the companies and the knowledge about this project was about the high sulfidation with arsenic area. Our, our team had a different interpretation of it, and we are looking for the blue scarn that's moving forward to north. Our new drill holes that will show you results in, in, a, in a minute will show you how the interpretation of our team has, is solving one of the key issues of this project, arsenic. This is our challenges and this, was, this is our current resource. We have inferred 294 million tons in a 0.8 copper equivalent. This is what are we thinking to do. You will see that our, our resources on between that white lines, and this is our plan. This year, we, we concluded uh, 23,000 meters uh, drilling. We are planning to have a new uh, estimated resource in early 2019. We are significantly going to increase, so that's our, those are our expectations, to increase significantly our, our resource. The idea is to have that for April next year, and then early 2020, we will have a new one, and, and our main idea is to have a PEA for 2020. Here you will find some of our fantastic new drills, drill holes, results. For example, the last two ones have been just issued some days ago. You will see they are very good under the perspective of copper and equivalent uh, numbers. And here we are. Why to invest in our company? We have a successful team with proven track record. Great asset in excellent jurisdiction. All the big guys are there. And we are, we are, we are, we are moving forward into the direction to increase our project to turn it into a world-class copper gold project. Thank you for your minutes.